My mom hates my husband. If she walks by him, she'll maybe smile at him. And then two seconds later will tell me, look at him, he's lazy. You need to leave him. She's like a snake. What my mom doesn't want to believe is that my husband Robert was diagnosed with PTSD years ago. And it's a constant struggle for him. She dismisses it like he's faking it. Her not believing in it and giving you a hard time, that's making it worse for me too. The PTSD that my husband suffers is pretty severe. He's pouring with sweat all the time because deep down inside he's stressing out. He's worried and anxious about everything. My mom makes things worse. My mom will say, look, he's a bum. He's asleep all the time. I don't think he's gonna be a good father. He doesn't do anything for you. He just lies around. I'm in the middle all the time, always running interference between my mom and him. It's not only the PTSD and the medications that are affecting my husband as far as sleep. I also think it's the constant stress my mom puts us under. It is nonstop. It is daily mental and emotional abuse. Robert is an awesome father and an awesome husband. I have obviously no plans of ever leaving him because he truly is the man of my dreams. Okay, so you're in love with your husband. Are you committed to your husband? Absolutely. Did you make the right decision marrying him? I did, I'm, I'm sorry, this just hits home. Just seeing that, it makes me mad. Makes you mad how? I mean, I love my mom very much. I don't like hearing what she has to say. Right. So what is it that she says that upsets you the most? That he's a bum and a loser. She says it to me every single day. I don't say that every day. I work every day, every all day long. Every time she gets a chance. Well, let's not split hairs. Whether yeah. you say it every day or you don't, that's what you think. With somebody that is not working and doesn't plan on working, it's hard to see, especially when you have the commitment of family. You think he's lazy? I don't understand PTSD. I'm not a doctor. Okay, so, are you going to answer my questions or are you going to duck and weave? Well, uh, if you're, you're just working. sitting around all day long, yeah, to me that's lazy. Do you think he's a bum? I think he's lazy. De Define bum. Okay, do you think he's lazy? Yes. Yes. I got an answer. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, that's very controlling the way you do that. No, it's just I like defining words. Yeah, were you, were you confused by bum? Well, a bum is somebody that is on the street sleeping because they have no And that's where you want just... him. No. You want him on the street. If he doesn't get a job by year end, you're going to kick him out. I didn't say that. Actually, you did. You said you... I said he's been, he's going to be a year. They said they you have said a plan. You said by year end, if he yes. doesn't have a job, you're kicking him out. I don't even say the words kicking him out. What I said is they're supposed to get their act together with the money within a year. And if not, then he can look for a job, just like everybody else. That's okay. All. His psychiatrists have told him and begged him, do not get a job, because they're afraid he'll snap. You think he should just get over and get a job? I, sh I think he should get rid of all these medications, because that's what keeps him down and sleeping and... And you know this how? Because he tells me that they are just playing, the doctors are playing with him, changing his medications all the time, so nothing is really working. And really, that's not fair, that he's being used as a guinea pig. So the way I see it is, if he just gets weaned from all the medications that really mess him up so much, then he has all the potential to be wonderful. He doesn't have the chance to get better if you keep making him feel bad. I don't make him he, feel bad. You, you said, here's what your mother said. You said it's not like he's been through the Holocaust. Correct. Just because he was dragged and broke his neck is no excuse. Yeah, people, people have legs, people have arms, people have the eyesight, people have everything. And whatever happened to them, people get up and get going.